Hey guys, I'm Max Ward and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can edit your videos in Sony Vegas Pro. So I'm just going to give you the basic tips and a general idea on how to edit your videos. So if you do like these types of videos, please give it a big thumbs up and let's see if we can smash 50 likes. And with that being said, let's get started. So first off, you need a media to import. Alright, so I'm going to choose, uh, go to file and go to import and go to media. So you can select any file you want. I'm gonna go select my uh, intro, so it's in the Twitch uh, and then intro two. So this is my intro over here. Um, so this is basically where your media is gonna be stored, all right? So to actually edit the video, you need to just highlight it and just, or hold it, and then just um, bring it down into the timeline. Now once it's over here, you can see that there are two layers. One is the video layer and one is the audio layer, all right? Now to add another, audio layer just right click on the audio track and insert audio track and you can do the same with the video track um, you can also um, lower down the volume by going up and down over here so that way you can um, easily just uh, adjust the volume you can also adjust the opacity of the video by going up and down over here you can also add in phase by going to the top left corner of the video um, you can also do the same with the audio. Now to separate the audio and the video, you can see now both of them move together. Now to separate them, just uh, um, highlight any um, any track that you want to separate. So I'm going to separate the audio, so just press U. Now both of them are going to be uh, separated. Now you can just play around with the audio or the video. So to split the audio, just go to the place where you want to split. So I'm going to split over here and press the S key. And there you go your audio is basically um, split now as you can see on the top right over here um, this is basically your preview screen and it's gonna show you how uh, your video looks like right now you're gonna see it lag and it's not gonna be smooth but you know um, don't worry uh, after you render the video it's gonna look all good you know all that HD and stuff now another thing we're gonna look at is the loop region alright so the loop region is basically um, what you want to render so let's say I want to render my intro so just put the loop region over here and wait one second I'm gonna put it over here so um, put the loop region right in the video so it's gonna render my intro alright so let's say I want to render half of my intro just go half over here or let's say I want to render a quarter of my video uh, just go over here so basically that's how it works that's how the loop region works now another thing you can do is if you go into the video track and click properties um, you're gonna see the smart resample alright many people criticize that when you smart resample the video looks all laggy and stuff but in my opinion I haven't seen any lag so far but you can disable it you know just to avoid any uh, criticism now let's say I want to add in a gameplay uh, go to the file and go import and go to media so now I'm gonna select the gameplay. Let me find my gameplay. Uh, so I guess it's in downloads. Uh, downloads uh, 1080p. Yeah, there you go. This is my gameplay over here. Um, you can put this over here. And now I'm gonna use the same techniques that I've taught you right now. And let's do this. So I'm gonna separate the audio and the video. So I'm gonna press the U key and separate the audio and delete it. Um, I'm gonna put the uh, video over here. So now I'm gonna make this video a bit short. So I'm just gonna go over here and press the S key and then just delete the excess material and add a fade over here. Now another thing I'm gonna do is add a watermark. So first thing you have to do is insert a new video track and then import your watermark. So I'm gonna go to import, media, and then find my watermark yeah this is my watermark I know I went crazy I went crazy on the watermark I went all one 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 but just stay with me so just insert the um, watermark into the new video track and then just extend it and then lower down the opacity and add in a fade and after you're done editing the video guys so if you want to render your whole video just make sure the loop region is just at the end of the video and at the start of the video another thing you can do is adjust the settings of the video so go over here and click it and then this is basically what it shows how your project looks like right now 
So um, right now it's uh, 1920 by 1080, so that's uh, 1080p HD. Uh, the frame rate is 30 frames per second. You can also make this 60 frames per second, but I'm just gonna leave it like so. Now, once you're done with the whole, you know, editing and the loop region and everything, just go to the file and click render as. So you're gonna get this over here, all right? Now, basically, you're gonna get a bunch of options over here. Um, I've made my own internet HD 1080p. Um, try to find this under main concept AVC AAC. So once you uh, find this uh, output, just click on this one and then you're gonna find internet HD 1080p. Uh, you can also customize the template. Um, so you can stop the video and just customize and make sure it looks like this. You can also save your file where you want to save it, so I'm just going to name my file uh, uh, chicken and it's going to be in this folder Twitch, so it's going to be over here and just click render. So yeah guys, that's about it for the video. If you guys did understand what I'm trying to say and if you guys did like the video, please give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already guys, please subscribe and as always, thanks for watching.